Hi there, my name is Fred Cornelette. Today I'm going to show you the very basics of 2.4 GHz, what all the piece parts are and what all they, what, what all they do. Um, you have a transmitter, and then you have the receiver, but you have to power the receiver, so that means you get a switch harness, and then the switch harness typically has one end with one wire and one end with two wires. Your battery will have a connector that will match one of the ones on two with two wires. And this is, this feeds power to the switch. This is used for charging the battery. This wire goes to the receiver. Now on this receiver, it goes into that port there on the Tactic. So when I turn the switch on, the red light comes on, which means the receiver is now getting a signal from the transmitter. And we'll, we'll go in a minute here on how to bind this. Now the servos come in a variety of sizes. There's a standard servo, a mini, and a micro. Now this is like used for ailerons, but the larger the control surface, the more torque you need, so you may need even a bigger servo. This is mainly used for the park flyers. This can be used for throttle. So depending upon your application, you may need more or less torque. This has less torque, this has more torque. So the servo has three wires. It has A signal, power, and a ground. The signal is orange, the red is power, the brown is ground. So I'm going to plug this servo into the third that's plugged into the third channel there. When I move the throttle stick that moves. If you were to plug in other servos to the other channels, they would work on the toggles, whatever toggle you got set up. Now, let's say you need to bind the receiver. And what I mean by bind the receiver is the serv the transmitter talks to, the to this receiver and this receiver only until you bind it. So this receiver has not been uh, set up to talk to this receiver yet. So this is where we're going to send a power. So I've got the switch on. And we're going to plug a servo in. Now notice the servo kind of twitches, which means it's getting power. But notice that it doesn't have the red light. So there's a little tiny hole right here and if I on this receiver and you have to read the instructions on yours if I push down on this little hole okay now by doing that this receiver is now talking to this to this receiver. In actuality, this transmitter is talking to two, two receivers. Notice both servos are moving. So we have two receivers here all talking to the same transmitter. I could put both receivers in an airplane. Let's say this was the left engine and that was the right engine. 
that would be one application. So that's how you bind a receiver. Okay, now let's go one step further here. There is a thing called a Y harness. And a Y harness takes the signal from the from the receiver and sends it out to two servos. And the reason why you want to be able to do this is because you may have a twin that has two servos. Now ideally you want both servos to be the same size and power. And when I hit this toggle switch, both servos are going through this Y harness, so they both do the same thing. If they're both hooked up to the throttle, if you had a twin and they were hooked up through a Y, they would control both throttle servos. But where this is also helpful, if you have electric retracts, so there's one retract. I could plug in a second retract. and they both operate. So the Y harness gives you that ability. If you have four motors, you're going to need a quad harness. So this takes a signal from the receiver and sends it out to four servos or four speed controls. Okay, now, this is going to get a little noisy, and that's the whole reason for doing this. Um, this is a retract that's been installed in the structure. Notice, it's a, it's a little noisier than it was if it was just, if it wasn't mounted in the wing. If you have an electric motor, that plugs in just like any other servo. If this was an electric powered airplane, now electric power has is nice because this B control is has BEC. BEC is battery eliminator circuit, which means if I was to plug a battery into this, the power for, that feeds the motor would also uh, power up the receiver. So you don't need a, a separate battery. So, hope this helps. Talk to you later. Bye.